Okay, this video is uh, for Granddad and a bunch of other people that have followed my work over the years uh, with uh, pulse motors and also wireless uh, transmission of energy. And um, this thin little thing right here looks like a sticker. But it's not. It's actually a uh, radio identification tag. And these things here... Um, you find them on packages and all over the place now and they use them instead of barcodes to identify something and I got this bunch here off of eBay it was a uh, 25 or I think it was seven seven bucks and they were tuned to 13.56 megahertz and let that rattle in your brain for a while all the people that have stock followed dr. Stifler and the sex ciders and Slayer exciters that's tuned to 13.56 megahertz but the video is really for granddad because he found out that you could take this little thing there and make it like an electromagnet by putting some wires on it and then it would drive a motor so this is my uh, replication of what he showed um, the little uh, tag has just got some wires shoved through it to make the contacts I couldn't get mine to solder it's a reed switch hooked up to a power supply magnet rotor when the magnet goes by here it tells the motor to start and get it going here there it goes we've got a radio here so you can hear it there goes the motor radio is picking up the spark off of the reed switch and uh, it's telling the battery to send the energy up here through that uh, spiral pancake coil which like I say looks like a piece of paper but it's actually a coil hooked up to an integrated circuit now <clears throat> one of the reasons I'm so excited about this is this particular thing here does not have any kind of a uh, power source it receives its power through the air the reader on this sends out the energy activates the uh, circuit in there that sends back a ping identifying what the package is all kinds of information on that tag and uh, these uh, radio frequency IDs are in all kinds of stuff I just haven't found a package yet where I could get one out of it but Grandsad said they're even in the layers of cardboard sometimes. But there's an integrated circuit in there hooked up to this receiver coil that's tuned to a certain frequency. These particular ones are tuned to 13.56 megahertz. So I'm going to try to do some experiments with uh, SEC or Slayer exciters to see how that works. But this was the main thing here was the pulse motor. And... Um, that worked quite well. It's high, high draw, like 200, 300 milliamps. So you have to use a pretty decent power source to get it to work. And then um, try not to burn it out. Now, some people have said, what about the integrated circuit in that thing? Well, I don't know. I just went to a couple of places on there that looked like the right connection points. And it may be burning out the IC. I don't really care as long as the coil still works. But anyway, that's the latest with uh, what I've been up to is this replication of what Granddad found out about these um, RFID tags being able to use like an electromagnet. Thanks for watching.